So, looking at uh, another destructive lock, we have um, one street cutter, we have um, this 180 low block, and here we have this movement here. Okay. Again, the only way the cutter can interpret this is um, it's shown vertically um, in the cata, but it's actually going to be on the ground. It's just move here, so it's a step over arm mark. There's no other way the cata can show it. You don't want to go through the whole movements of the cata and then all of a sudden be lying on the ground and then up again. Um, so, Paddy's just going for a push. Come and catch that low block um, as they come around, just striking to the jugular, cranking this up. Back step with my leg to take him over. Once I put him down from this position here, just controlling that wrist, lifting him up, kicking him in the head and stepping down. As I sit back into the Juji Katami, I want to make sure that my hips are right underneath the shoulder. Left foot's curling back in, right under the armpit, and now from here I just engage my hips. Notice the way this position here, and when I grab it, it's exactly the same as this movement from standing. Okay. So, again, one more time on that. Come and catch, I have that strike. As they take him over and bring him down, I have control of that wrist. I can kick him in the head as he step over. I want to make sure that my hips are right underneath his shoulder. Just sit in for the step over arm. So, again, another destructive joint lock from one shoe cutter.